Good afternoon. How's everyone today? What's going on in G land? What's happening out there? Anything good? What have I been doing? Just chilling out. This morning I thought I gotta water the garden because everything is bone dry. So even before I wanted to water anything, I turned the pump on and let it run for 20 minutes just to do the wood, the stuff in the woods because it looks so dry. Switched it off, went in the house, finished doodling around like you do in the morning, and then come out and started watering. But I had breakfast and everything, but I could hear those like rumbling in the sky. I said, oh. And then I looked across and it looked like dark, dark. I'm like, oh wow. And you could see the coal front moving because it, it actually hit um, a big pile of dust. There was a pile of dust maybe a hundred feet in the sky, way, way, way from here, but you could see the difference in color. You know, the normal storm going through is gray. And then uh, in front of that, there was this pile of dust, that same height in the sky, a couple hundred meters maybe, and maybe a couple hundred meters wide. But the heavy wind picked that dust up from somewhere way off in the horizon and you could see it like wow but I thought it's not going to come here so I guess it's come just caught the edge of it the the front part anyway and then um, it went it went on by and then the next thing the, the wind kicked up here and I was busy watering by this stage I was watering in the shade garden because the shade garden doesn't get direct water you have to water it that's to keep the sun off the the, the more delicate plants so I just finished in there and there's a lot of rumbling. So I got my little gadget out, the Zoom um, recorder, and I was recording the the thunder. You know, there's a big flash of light and boom, 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 boom. somebody like a grumbly belly. So I recorded that and by the time I thought, okay, this is done, I turned the pump off because I was starting to get a bit worried about the electricity with the lightning and um, I grabbed, grabbed this, I had it on my truck, away from all noise, just so I could hear the thunder, and grabbed it and ran in the house, because I thought it's going to get wet, because the wind was get, really getting up. So I went in the house and just chilled out and napped. <laughs> Woke up and had a cup of tea. So that's, what I, that's all I've done. And now I'm outside. And I can say I'm not sweating. I actually feel a cool coolness on my skin. So I thought I'm gonna come out here and talk to you guys in this coolness. You can probably hear some background music about uh, three or 400 meters down the road. There's like a little clump of houses and uh, somebody passed away. And what they do is they, they have these, uh, you know a fluorescent strip light? What they do is they, they get a piece of metal and they put like a real long, I'm guessing what, two meters, three meter long fluorescent strip lights, three of them. So it's like a three meters, 10 feet, 12 feet, something like that tall. And they, they stick them in the ground on the left and right of the house where somebody passed. So if you pass away, the lights are all white. If you, um, going to be a monk. I think it's like green, red, and ye yellow or something. But there's, you know, it's, um, and also if somebody's going to be a monk, I think they use the same, for a wedding and for a monk, I think it's the same colors. If somebody passes, it's all white. So down here, there's music playing because somebody passed away. And there's loud music. I don't, I don't understand why you have to have loud music. You know, in Western culture, it's always solemn. But that's, you know, whatever's good for you. I have no preference. I just prefer quiet all the time. And then um, on this side, down here, across the river, it's quiet now. Somebody's being a monk, so you have different music. But they, um, when it's, there's, they, they play like a whole collection of music that's the same. So every time somebody's a monk, it's the same music. Get married, it's similar music. And then for passing, it's uh, again similar music. And there's they they actually put him, you know, if you have the body in the in the if you have the body in the, there's a certain time for 
I know for a Muslim, you know, if you pass in the morning, you're in the ground in the afternoon. There's no hanging around. As soon as if you, you, the day you pass, you're in the ground the same day. Whereas uh, Buddhists, they'll have, uh, I think it's like seven days from the time you pass to the time you go in the ground at seven days. I think that's right. And if you stay at the temple, they'll, or if you stay at the hospital, they put you in the fridge, obviously. And if you're at the temple, they have a box that you can put you in with a refrigeration unit so the air is cold. Why are we talking about that anyway? <laughs> but that's, that's Thai culture is how it's a little bit different here. Oh, and then we got another temple over here. They're talking too. So the marriage is quiet. The funeral is noisy and the temple is talking on the loudspeakers. And Kevin's here all by himself going, quiet please. <laughs> yeah, so I, when I was out here, I had my uh, Zoom thing recording the thunder. I, sometimes I, I think about it often, if, if it's thundering to record it. And then I said, nah, but today I moved my bum and did it. So look, this little pineapple now is at this purple flower stage, see it? So each little section has a flower. Isn't that beautiful? And if we look at this one, this is the biggest one. You can see the top still growing. But look inside, you can see that the, the purple's gone. The purple flower that's right in the middle of each one is gone. Well, on each little section on here, but on each little section here, you can see the purple flower. Beautiful, huh? You know, today while I was watering, I was thinking to myself, this word keep coming in my mind, called homeostasis. You know, homeo, you know what homeostasis is, is balance, right? Everything has, every living thing has to be balanced. Every living thing has to have balance, otherwise it can't live. So you can say inside our bodies is homeostasis. The right amount of water, food, rest, and you know, you got 13 different glands in the hormones, endocrine system, and producing many different, many different combinations of hormones and chemicals and all kinds of different jazz, all to, all your hold is to maintain homeostasis, to maintain life. So, you know, I don't, I always say, you know, I don't know if there was a, a God or not, but I believe there has to be a kind of architect, somebody who designed all this. But um, I don't want to talk about religion, but just, it's amazing how the body's designed like this. Lots of birds flying around. Ooh, big one just going on my head. Um, so, you know, in the same way, with friends, with everything, it has to be balanced. You know, you have to be in relationships that are balanced. Otherwise, if they're not in balance, it's not healthy. I think I'm gonna go make a cup of tea. So, I'm gonna sign off and say good night. Look after yourselves. Buckets of blessings. Thanks for bringing the rain. <laughs> good night, guys. All the best. See you in the morning. Good night.